All right, this is the uh, solar array I built myself. It's 20 kilowatts of power. I have uh, 45 Canadian Solar 225 panels on the bottom, the first three rows. And on top of those, I have 45 of the Evergreen 225 watt panels uh, from the Evergreen auction recently. Uh, that just, the company just went out of business and they auctioned off the panels. The uh, I built the, the rack myself out of stuff I uh, purchased from Home Depot, made the brackets and everything, and I uh, had an electrician come over here and do the basic wiring, which is not too complicated actually, I'll show you that in a second. I have 90 M190 in phase inverters, which convert the direct current to the alternating current, and those are right there, if you look close you can see them, there's here. My junction box is right here. You can see there is one and there is the other and there's three strings going to each one and the strings three on each rack and there's two racks of so there's six strings total and you can see the inverters if you look down through there. Uh, I just use pressure treated lumber. I, uh, I have a little log home experience. I build log homes kind of as a hobby so I kind of used materials I was pretty familiar with. Uh, if you look close you'll see the uh, in phase 190 here blinking green it means it's actually getting power and it's firing right now uh, they're all doing that if they're not they turn red and uh, when the line goes dead I'll open the panel here to get an idea you can see the uh, three 20 amp double breakers there but uh, it's not too complicated. It took me a couple, a couple, about a week to put it in, and uh, it's very easy to do. Right now, I just checked my uh, my uh, EMU monitor in the house, and I'm producing about 18 kilowatts of power. So, if you do the math, there there are 190 watt inverters. I get about 200 on a good sunny day and I've got 90 panels so it's 18 kilowatts. The system's about 90% efficient, 85 to 90% efficient. Cross bracing. The uh, six by six posts were put in the ground real deep. I dug the holes myself and uh, I put it all up. It's all uh, very uh, well built. I'll show you over here on this other side. You get an idea going down through there, what it looks like from this side. This is the end over here. You can see where it stops right there with it sticking out. It's uh, a little after 12 o'clock right now, so uh, I'm getting a lot of power. I back feed onto the grid. The system to put in was a little over two dollars a watt when I built it myself, buying by buying the stuff at, at auction and discounting it from discounted places. Uh, you can see my house there. My house is four thousand square feet, and this produces a little bit more power than I actually use. Uh, so I back feed onto the grid. I don't have batteries or anything like that. I do have a backup battery bank for for emergencies, but it's not connected right now. I do connect it on occasion to run it to make sure it works. But you can see how the brackets I built myself. I just took angle iron and, and, and put them up here. And I used galvanized bolts, sinkers, washers, everything else. It's a good clean system. I get some uh, additional refraction off the lake here when the sun's shining bright. Um, it plugs in over here to my compressor. I've got a junction box over here on my house. And the uh, this is pretty well it. There are no inverters inside the house. Nothing big. It's just it just plugs in right here. I'll show you that right there. It says solar, and that's where the disconnect is. So I have two disconnects on it. If the uh, power should shut off from the uh, grid, the system shuts down automatically. So I'm not killing some lineman down the road. Uh, the, the road working on it. It's uh, 
it's 80 feet long and it's a little over 20 feet wide so it's 1600 square feet almost about 1800 square feet actually um, so you can get an idea I come out here on occasion and I wash it off with the garden hose other than that there is no maintenance to it